Hi guys, so today I'm filming a video. I don't know how to start this video. Today's video is going to be something that's a little bit different from anything I've ever done before. Or at least I haven't done these in a while. It's one of those videos where I sit down and talk about a topic. Um, which I've got some stuff to say about. And it's a more serious topic. So, yeah, normally I make think I don't know I don't know what I normally do I do lots of videos I just feel like I haven't really made anything like this before I'm a bit nervous to make videos like this because I don't feel qualified I don't know why because nobody else is necessarily more qualified to make this uh, a video like this but when I was trying to think about what I was going to make this week, I couldn't think of a video and I thought this was quite a good topic because I've been wanting to talk about it for a little while now and yeah and so I am and that is social media and the image we put out and how we perceive other people and how I think social media or too much social media can have a really negative impact on the way we think about ourselves and comparing ourselves to other people and one thing I'm really bad at is I always compare myself in so many different ways to other people and it makes me feel worthless or more worthless than I already feel um, and I don't think social media helps and I always go on social media at the wrong time now, I don't know if YouTube does or doesn't fall into this category. Some of the stuff I'm saying actually applies to YouTube, but I view it differently. And I find that it doesn't have the same impact as Facebook or Instagram. I don't really use Twitter, but you can apply this to what I'm going to say. And I want to just mention that one of my New Year's resolutions was to try and go on social media less and these are the reasons why I think we should try and go on less um and you also notice I'm not wearing makeup in this video and I thought about putting makeup on like I normally do but then I thought no I think it kind of goes with the topic of what I'm going to talk about but me not having makeup on so just to mention that so social media is great, Facebook is great and Instagram is great, I love looking at Instagram, I love getting inspired on Instagram and actually Instagram for me isn't a major problem, um, it can be but a lot of my Instagram feed are just inspiring quotes, inspiring pictures, cards people have made or hand lettering and that is all fine. Um, it's the bit where you other people post stuff of what they're doing and this is kind of a lot a major reason why Facebook is not good I sit and scroll through Facebook when I'm already feeling bad about my life when I'm feeling bored or I'm feeling down or I'm upset and I don't know what to do with myself and I'm I go to Facebook it's the worst thing I could ever do because the problem is with Facebook is it's all our friends and it's all people we know and they're normal people we don't idolise them like a celebrity on the TV and know we're never going to have that life and know that they are photoshopped or acting or, you know. The problem is with Facebook and social media is it's other people's lives that we know. And as soon as we see what they're doing, we compare, or at least I compare myself to their life and I think, my life is rubbish. They're having this amazing time. What we tend to forget is we always present the best version of ourselves. I'm not going to come and sit on camera with tears rolling down my face and make a really negative video. Am I? Because that's not helpful. It's not helpful to you, it's not helpful to me and it spreads negativity. Also, just naturally, we want to put best versions of ourselves forward I want you to think good of me I want you to think me as a good interesting person not a sad person who's got no life so we're always going to put 
the best things and all the good things that we've done on YouTube, on social media, on Facebook, and not the sad things. So when you look at other people's profiles and other people's lives, you're going to see them having this amazing life because they're putting all the interesting, all the good bits. They're not putting all the times where they're crying or they've had an argument with their mum because you're not going to want to share that. You're not going to want people to know. We all want people to think that we're perfect, don't we? It's natural human instinct. And yes, there are people who post things about how hard they find things and stuff like that. And even that's bad because then we compare our struggles to their struggles. And it's just all comparing. But what we forget is we can pick and choose what we put on social media. I'm not saying you should pull the bad bits on social media. That's not right either. I'm just saying perhaps we should spend a little less time on social media and just remember that it's edited, just like this video is edited. I'm not going to put all my um and ah and all the times I stop to drink tea in because it's a waste of your time and actually the more time we spend on social media the less time we have to do we have to do those things that we're seeing other people doing and getting jealous of and that makes you know we could be spending this time doing those things and I don't know and going and being those people and stop comparing ourselves because there's a major waste of time we could be working on ourselves for ourselves and being better people or doing something productive and spending time with those people we love rather than scrolling down a Facebook feed feeling sorry for ourselves because we are not we haven't got their lives we're probably never going to have their lives but we can do something better than scrolling on Facebook and make us feel sad and we have to remember this anyway so that's my two cents on Facebook and social media don't get me wrong it can be a great tool I use Facebook to chat to people to connect with people, to ask for advice, to f often feel like I'm not alone. I'm part of a group of other young diabetics and we compare experiences and share tips and that's great because sometimes as a diabetic it's really easy to feel alone and sometimes I connect with my friends and arrange events so that we can meet up and that is great sometimes you see inspirational stories but if we spend too much time on Facebook we can forget to appreciate what we actually do have and to compare ourselves and feel sorry for ourselves with what we don't have and I think it's really important um, to remember that and I always think that I feel happier when I'm not scrolling through Facebook uh, every day or every five minutes, you know. So yeah, that's my two cents. Don't forget that people always put out the best version of them. Um, you know, it's a bit like we always brush our hair before we go out or a lot of people put on makeup. And there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously we want to look our best. But beneath that, people are just like you and they everybody has bad times. And that is something we definitely need to remember. I've repeated myself now. So I'm going to go and let me know in the comments what you think about what I've said and what you think about Facebook. Is it useful? Is it not useful at all? Or is it sort of in between like I think? It can be useful for something, but you have to be careful about how much you use it. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next week. And yeah. Bye.